Diocese of Olympia. Several years ago, we, the Diocese of Olympia, were invited to consider a new relationship with some fellow Episcopalians halfway around this earth in the southern Philippines. The invitation came from Bishop Danilo Bustamante, Bishop of the Southern Philippines. After both Bishop Nettie Rivera and I met him at Lambeth Conference in 2008, he invited us to come and eventually I did go to Mindanao, the southern island of the Philippines, of which the Diocese of the Southern Philippines is a part. Bishop Bustamante's plan was to have a partnership based on and with a special focus on the environment. This is a huge problem in the Philippines, and especially in the southern Philippines. Deforestation has wreaked havoc on the environment and has denuded the land in some places forever. On my visit, I was so graciously hosted by Bishop Bustamante and his staff, shown all over the diocese, and was deeply inspired by their commitment, both to Christ, but also to the creation of God making every attempt they can to correct our human error, an error, quite frankly, that we in the U.S. and other industrialized countries have far more to do with than do people in countries such as the Philippines, who often bear the brunt of our excess. And this is exactly why Bishop Bustamante and I believed this was the partnership we had to make, a partnership to help our Earth, but one also to bridge the gap of understanding between those who use most of the resources and those who suffer because of that. So we developed a partnership and decided which specific things each diocese would do. First, this diocese, the Diocese of Olympia, was the leader and in fact the proponent and chief proposer of the Genesis Covenant which was passed through our general convention. The covenant commits our church to cut our carbon emissions in half the second part for us is a carbon offset program. This is where individuals and businesses calculate their carbon footprint, essentially the amount of carbon we put into the air on a daily basis through the lifestyle choices we make. My family and I have been doing this for nearly 10 years. The Diocese of the Southern Philippines in turn is planting rubber trees. Rubber trees are sustainable, they're a good crop, both for the land, for rehabilitating it, and for the air. Since the beginning of our program, hundreds have been planted, and many more will be. Since the inception of the program, my carbon offset payment has gone to this program. This is one way you can join this program as well. Just recently, our partners, Bishop Bustamante and a delegation from the Southern Philippines came to visit us in Seattle. This also was a long time goal of our partnership, and we hope it's not the last time. In fact, we hope that we can begin regular pilgrimages to the Philippines and vice versa. In our Book of Common Prayer, in Eucharistic Prayer C, we pray this. At your command, all things came to be. The vast expanse of interstellar space, galaxies, suns, the planets in their courses, and this fragile earth, our island home. Our earth is indeed fragile. If we believe God created it, then it is ours not to use as we wish without regard for its health, but instead we are called to be stewards of it. Our partnership is one way you can be part of that. I hope you will choose to do honor to this earth, our island home, by taking intentional steps to care for it in what we do and how we live on a daily basis. Blessings to all of you.